All right, good morning, class. Today's video, we're going to be looking at... It's going to be a bit of a rant video on something that I think a lot of you maybe already know about, but I want to point out why it is so important when it comes to deck building in Expanded. Uh, it's less of a big deal in Standard because the card pool is so much smaller. So it starts off, we're going to look at the first place list from the last Limitless tournament. This is the last big Expanded tournament that we had. Uh, let's open the list. This was a Colossal VMET deck. And the thing we're going to talk about is basic Pokemon and selecting the correct basic Pokemon. So there's two big things with this deck list that are just like super obvious. One of them is there's no A-spec. There should definitely be an A-spec in this deck. If you're going to copy this deck list, play it on ladder, as a lot of people have been doing. I've ran into this exact 60 many times on the PTCGO ladder. Add an A-spec. Anything. Like, even if you only have Master Ball, Master Ball is just better than, you know, a variety of other cards. You can cut a quick ball for a Master Ball, and you're good to go. So that's one. Whatever. Who cares about that? The second one is the Slugma. This Slugma is not good. It doesn't do anything. If you're going to copy this deck list, you don't need the Slugma. In fact, you actively do not want this Slugma. It's very bad. It's cute. I get that. Maybe you want the cutest Slugma. That's not. Don't do that. But this is not your optimal Slugma pretty much ever. We're going to go into why here in a second. And then we're going to look at the Dragapult list that got top 8. Here, we're going to look at the Trubbishes. Four, three different Trubbishes, that's fine. You can totally have all the Trubbishes you want. You can have four different Trubbishes. There's a lot of very good Trubbishes. They play the Dark Trubbish. This one is very bad. The attack's not particularly good. It takes two colorless energies. If you have to have two colorless energies to search your deck for an item card, you lost. There's no reason to have that. The big deal here, though, and clearly the person never got punished for this in the tournament, but I wouldn't... Just because you don't get punished for something in a tournament doesn't make it correct. Like, if you go a whole tournament without checking your prizes and you're like, you don't have to check your prizes to win, you got lucky that you never got punished for not knowing your prizes. Same thing here. You cannot search for Dark Trubbish with Mysterious Treasure. So I want to talk about why this is so important, and we're going to look at some of the actual cards that you can pick. So let's go over to PTCGO, and we're going to look at the Slugmas. So we'll talk about why this matters so much. Uh, let's uncheck this one. So this is the Slugma that everyone is playing. Again, I don't know why. ADHP, 2 Retreat, an attack you cannot use in Colossal because there is no Fire Energy. So if you look at the other Slugmas, we have 70 HP ones, but again, Fire Energy, you don't want that. 70 HP, so less HP. Fire Attacks, you don't want that. Here, 70 HP, so less HP, but a colorless attack. I'm a big fan of Magma Ring. When I played uh, Buscarb Shrine with Macargo for a while, Magma Ring was an attack that I used. So for a colorless energy, the defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. There are scenarios where you want to Magma Ring your opponent. You don't have anything. They have something in the active. No one in Expanded plays Switch. They'd have to Guzma. A Magma Ring's not a terrible choice. So this is a pretty good card. This is a good option. Now, there are people out there who are playing Heavy Ball in Colossal, you may say. I can't Heavy Ball for this. That's fine. If we scroll over to this Slugma, we have 8 HP, so more HP. If you want the more HP, play this one. Through Retreat, you can search for it with Heavy Ball, and it has an attack. 2 Colorless, 20 damage. Again, you may be like, Mellow, if I'm attacking with a Slugma, aren't I going to lose? Not necessarily. Magma Ring can buy you a turn. Buying you a turn can win you the game. Stampede. Stampede is not going to do much damage, but we can add up damage modifiers. We can add in you're losing. Martial Arts Dojo. If you have a basic fighting energy attached, your attacks can do 40 more damage. Now suddenly, Magma Ring's doing 50. Stampede's doing 60. That's pretty good. You can add in a Muscle Band. That's not how you spell muscle. Muscle Band adds 20 damage to an attack. So now, Magma Ring's doing 70. Stampede's doing 80. And if you're hitting weakness, those are even bigger numbers. This adds up to relevant math. So not only can Magma Ring 
you know, stall you a turn, you can hit enough numbers where it matters. And this could also come in handy if your opponent pulls out a Zamazenta and they don't get it powered up in one turn. If you magma ring that Zamazenta with a dojo and a muscle band, you're hitting it for 140. And now it's suddenly like, okay, you have to power this up without retreating it so you can't saucer to it. So it does have scenarios where it can be good. Same with an Age of Slash V. Or sorry, EX. If your opponent pulls out an Age of Slash EX, you only have special energies attached to your Colossal. I'll bring it up so we can see the ability. What you can do in that situation is go in with a basic energy on a magma ring, and you can hit it. And then you can stretch her, and you can do it again, and you can take out the Age of Slash. So magma ring does have situations where it can be super relevant. Your basic attackers do matter. Let's look at the Trubbishes. So I already mentioned you can't Mysterious Treasure for Dark Trubbish. That makes it terrible. I've been asked before on my stream, Mellow, I don't have the specific Trubbish from your Ultra Necrozma list. Can I use any Trubbish? Yes, as long as it's not these ones. These are terrible. Don't use these Trubbishes. They're dark. You cannot use Mysterious Treasure. Mysterious Treasure only gets Psychic and Dragon types. There are a lot of really good Trubbishes. Literally, all the other ones are fine. There are more, some are better than others. Acid Sprays, I'm not a fan, but it's essentially Crushing Hammer as an attack. Sure. There are times where that might be good. Uh, do 20 damage, sure. Tool Drop, you're probably never going to use, but you play a bunch of tools in Dragapult, sure, you might use it. The one I'm a biggest fan of is, uh, there we go, Garbage Collection. Put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck. So again, you may be saying, why would I ever need to play a different Trubbish? Like, who cares? It's a Trubbish, I'm going to evolve it every single game. What if you run into Stall? You run into a Stall deck? Garbage Collection can get you back some of those super valuable resources. You can go in with your Dragapults, you know, you're hitting, you're hitting, you're hitting. Suddenly, you hit a situation where you need to pull something out of your discard pile. You need a VS Seeker back, you need a Rescue Stretcher back, you need a Float Stone back, you need Energies back. Put up the Trubbish, Garbage Collection, put that card back on top of your deck, and you can set up game for next turn. This Trubbish lets you tech against Stall without teching against Stall. Though it's actually super, super, super good. It does matter what you use. You may be able to play an entire tournament without ever needing to use Trubbish's attack. Cool. But there will be situations. I have played a lot of Zorark Garbodor in Expanded uh, to a decent amount of success. A top 128, a top 64, and a top 16 at the three regionals I've played it. I have used Garbage Collection. I've also used, not pictured, where is it? Stop off. I've also used Stomp Off before. I'm a big fan of this. Almost everyone I talk to is like, eh, I guess it's okay. I have won three games in my life by using Stomp Off. Like games that I would not have won off of prizes because my opponent, you know, they dug through their deck so fast because that's how Expanded works. You dig through your deck. They have one card left in deck or maybe they have, you know, multiple prizes left and they have two cards left in deck. You just go Stomp Off and suddenly it's like, well, what are you going to do? And you win the game. So I'm a big fan. I have won games with Stomp Off. I have won games because I've been able to garbage collection loop and get my stuff back so I can set up, you know, some really good turns against control decks or stall decks. So it does matter. Another thing, another situation where, yes, it does matter. I have used Zerua. And this is the one, for those of you who have been around for a while, where's my Zerua? There it is. This Zerua was a very big deal. This used to be an $8 card because it was the optimal Zerua and Zorark decks, but I have used Paralyzing Gaze before. Flip a coin if heads defending Pokemon's now paralyzed. No one runs Switch. You need to stall a turn, hope for the best, you get a heads, cool. I have actually won games that I should have lost because it bought me a turn, I top deck what I need, I'm able to set up my board, I'm able to come back. So... The optimal basic Pokemon does matter. And the thing is, in Expanded, you have so many choices. So let's look at our Slugmas again. Let's just look at standard Slugs. Okay, if you're going to standard format, you have two choices. This one and this one. question you got to ask is, I mean, I don't know why you'd play Macargo in standard, but whatever. You know, it's, it's not super hard. Do you want 80 HP? Do you want 70 HP? And that's probably all it's going to come down to. You can potentially yawn, you can potentially singe. That's not, not a super hard choice. But, I forgot to change the filter. If we look at the expanded slugs, 
we have a lot of choices, some of which are just significantly better than others. Can attack, can attack and be searched with heavy ball, or sorry, can't attack. Can attack, can be searched with heavy ball, has more HP, can attack, has a decent attack. So anytime you're building these decks, I know it's a pain on PTCGO to find the correct basic Pokemon, but it is worth your time because if that situation comes up where you need it, you want to have it. Another good reason why you want these attackers is there are decks that utilize Snorlax from, I don't actually know, it's an old Snorlax. This one conveniently. They utilize this. There are control install decks that utilize this. They say, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon can't retreat. I have won games. And this is what brought up this conversation. I was playing Primal Groudon with this Snorlax in it. And I won a lot of games by going, gust up your Pokemon that can't attack because you don't have those energies in your deck, put my Snorlax in the active, and I win because you don't play Switch. If you play basic Pokemon that can attack, your Slugmas that can attack, or your Trubbishes that have good attacks, you can win. And that's a really big deal. Because you will occasionally run into these decks, and if you start, you know, a Slugma that can't attack, or you start a Trubbish that can't attack, or you start whatever, you lose. You just literally lose the game before it starts. Because your opponent's just like, okay, I'm going to eventually trap that Pokemon, and I win the game. And this means you don't have to tech switches, you don't have to tech anything like that. So I'd highly suggest anytime you're building an expanded deck, look at the basic and figure out, does it do what I want? Does it have enough HP? What's its retreat cost? Can it attack? And it does, in fact, make a difference. The more you play this format, the more you'll realize, wow, I need a Pokemon that can do things. So there's a little bit of a rant today on that, but it came up yesterday on my stream, and it came up on Sunday. We were looking at the expanded results, and we saw just how many lists were playing suboptimal Pokemon choices and did not get punished for it. As the format moves along, you will start to get punished for that. Like, you might be able to go six rounds without getting punished, but then suddenly the next tournament, it might happen twice. So I highly suggest don't just net deck blindly, kind of look at it and be like, hmm, this is the wrong Slugma, this is the wrong Zerua, this is the wrong Trubbish, this is the wrong whatever, and go ahead and fix that. So thank you all for watching. Uh, I will see you for the next class in a couple of days. Be sure to check out Twitch, Twitter, all linked down below. And uh, if you've ever had a situation where you've had to use an optimal, like, basic Pokemon, and you've used Paralyzing Gaze or Garbage Collection, write that in the comments. I'm curious. I always like to hear other people who have had that same experience that I've had. So anyway, I will catch you all later. Peace.